senators began blaming each other Tuesday for the looming potential failure to provide additional aid to Ukraine as fragile negotiations over a national security package continue to break down amid Republican demands for far-reaching immigration restrictions. If funding for Ukraine fails, the failure will solely be on the Republican Party. Senate Majority Leader Charles E. Schumer, D.N. Why? said, blasting the GOP for demanding border security changes to support Ukraine funding. At least a dozen Republicans walked out of a classified briefing led by Secretary of State Antony Blinken and other Biden officials on the status of Ukraine's war effort Tuesday afternoon, shrugging off a presentation that was meant to pressure them to back the aid. Some Republican senators, led by Sen Tom Cotton, are confronted Schumer for not providing someone to brief them on border security in addition to Ukraine, before walking out in protest. Their lack of preparedness to discuss and their clear apprehension to utter a word as it pertains to border security policy was not just an oversight, it was intentional. It was a political decision, Senator Todd C. Young, R. Eind, said after the briefing. The fate of the $110.5 billion national security package, which includes aid to Ukraine as it fends off a Russian invasion, Israel in its war in Gaza as well as humanitarian funds and border aid, has looked dim since Republicans began demanding politically fraught changes to asylum and other immigration policies in exchange for Ukraine funding last month. As those negotiations stalled, Schumer said he would hold a procedural vote on the package anyway on Wednesday afternoon, and offered Republicans an amendment to the bill that they could craft themselves on immigration if they agreed to proceed to a vote. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, RKY, however, said he was urging Republicans to vote against moving on the national security package, to make a point that his conference insists on meaningful changes to border policy in exchange for their votes. McConnell has been one of the most vocal Republican supporters of Ukraine, arguing that abandoning the nation would empower Vladimir Putin and other foes of the United States. House Speaker Mike Johnson, Arla, has told the Senate he cannot pass Ukraine aid without significant border policy changes and said he will repeat that fact until he's blue in the face. The battle is for the border, he said. We do that first as a top priority, and we'll take care of things. Meanwhile, some of the House's harder right members have said they would need their sweeping immigration bill to pass the Senate to consider the Ukraine funding. That state of play had many supporters of Ukraine's fight against Russia feeling glum. I just don't think there's any question that we are about to abandon Ukraine, said Senator Chris Murphy, D. Con one of the key negotiators on the border package.